welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News Update. Today, we're going to be talking about their McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition DC Multiverse. There are three new figures, but technically six in some ways, we'll say. But as per San Diego Comic-Con, and in talking with them... They finally have ixnade the card stands, and with this wave, seemingly, they have now started to put more accessories, maybe head portraits, things of that nature that collectors actually want for the higher price point. So, collectively, I will say, and not to be like, oh, we finally defeated them, eh, you know, it's not, it's not a we're against you kind of thing. No one's against each other. It's a, as consumers... This is not working for us. Please course correct. And they've done just that. So in a celebratory congratulations to everyone, we finally did it. No more collector card stands. And with that, we'll get into the figures we're going to talk about today. But of course, as always, if you are interested in anything we're talking about here in this video, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. So right down there, click the description. Sometimes I'll be able to put it where it's right on the screen so you don't have to go through all that. I know it's a simple just scroll and kind of click situation, but things are tough, I understand. But as always, thank you for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. Now, first and foremost, we're going to Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. And this one, before anyone goes, wait a minute, that's not the correct costume. It is based off the comic book cover, Dark Knight Returns Triumphant. That's it. It's got the Slash uniform. It's got this exact suit. That's what it is. Now, it looks to be the same exact body type because it has the thigh swivel because of putting him on the horse and everything else. This time around, he will not come with the card stand. Yay! But he will come with a lamppost. So... That's a nice packing. At least that's something different, and it's something functional for a display for your Dark Knight Returns collection. He will come with that same batarang on a wire, which, not that great. If we're being honest, it's just reuse. He also comes with several hands. He comes with the unmasked Bruce Wayne, which I think looks pretty cool. And one of the hands will have batarangs in it. Unfortunately, much as was on display at San Diego Comic-Con at the McFarland event, they did not paint the batarangs, so that's kind of a bummer. It's because it's a blue hand, and then it goes into the blue batarangs. They should be more of the silver, at least something to differentiate it, so that's kind of a bummer. It's always one of those things where people will say, it's just not good enough. It's never good enough for you. No, it's, it's just one of those things where you'd expect for a collector's figure they would paint certain things that need paint. It's not too far of a stretch to think that, but you're welcome to talk about it down below. So again, extra accessories. You got the hand, you got the lamppost, you got two head portraits. Not too shabby, I will say. I'm actually stoked on this one. Of course, though, there will be a Platinum Edition variant. Now, this will, of course, be the same exact figure. He will lose all the tears in the uniform and go for a more darker deco type paint scheme to it, which I'm going to be honest with you, doesn't really do it for me. It looks like he was cleaning a chimney and it just doesn't really hit like it's interesting, but not interesting enough to get it, at least on my end. And for those that are wondering, it's not a bendy wire cloth cape by any means, it's just a standard plastic cape. So again, two versions, normal, platinum, Dark Knight Returns, Triumphant comic book cover. Again, I'll have links down in the description below if you want it. But always keep in mind, the platinum variants are not guaranteed. You can't order those unless it's from a specialty site that are usually selling it for a higher price point. These are ones that you'll get lucky if they send it to you via online or you go in the store and they have it, that sort of deal. So platinums are always rare chase figures. They go anywhere that the figures are sold and you just kind of have to happen upon it. It's, it's kind of Funko rules if you think about it. Next up, we have a Green Lantern pack. Now this is pretty cool and I will say that yes, this does come with the card stand. <laughs> But they have put a lot in the box as well. We'll balance it out, at least in that sense. The first Green Lantern, uh, the first head portrait at least, is Abin Sur. That's cool. That's the Green Lantern that 
dies and gives Hal Jordan his power ring. Comes with a lantern. I totally dig that. And I like all the power effects in the box. That is what is really welcome. That's what's nice to see. The other head portrait, of course, will be Tomar Ray. So that's a nice pair up. Abin Sur, Tomar Ray. You also have blast effects for the ring. This is great. This is definitely what I've been wanting to see. Now, with the neck, you're probably thinking, well, how's that going to work? They're gonna, how's the neck going to switch out? The collar of the green goes all the way up to the neck, so you won't have to worry about that. But like I said, to look at what's in the box as well as the card stand, that's not a problem because you have lantern, blast effects, extra head portraits, extra hands. Hey, that looks like a $30 figure. So well done in that sense. Now you're also probably thinking, well, if there's two head portraits, I should probably get two because yes, technically it's a quote unquote army builder if you wanna look at it in that sense. So here it is all packaged up, ready to go. The Tomar Ray and the Abin Sur pair up for the first Green Lantern pack. But don't you know it, there's also gonna be a platinum edition variant. now. This will then prompt you to possibly have to locate two of these and get four of these, two and two, to fully build out and flesh out your Green Lantern core. Of course, you're going to have Arcus Chamuk. He's more of that werewolf kind of Green Lantern. Again, very cool. Blast effects, same exact accessories, yada, yada. It's just the different head portraits, so you get different lanterns. The other head portrait, of course, belongs to Green Man, of which... I'm a little less familiar, I know who he is, but one of those where I'm like, oh, okay, I kinda had to do a little bit of research on that guy. But yeah, it seems fairly close to his more classic incarnation, which is kind of interesting. Very textured head portrait, I will say that, but a very interesting one. And like I said, with all the effects, with all the hands, with the battery and everything else, that looks pretty cool. So home run, although yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult to find the Platinums at at least two of them because you know everyone's gonna want four if you're heavily in a DC multiverse, you're gonna really wanna build out your Green Lanterns. I myself being one of those people. So we'll see what happens, but hopefully these are easy to come by. Fingers crossed. We always remember the red Superman situation. And before that, the blue Knights and Ezreal Batman. Ugh, I just, Keeps getting better and better, right? <laughs> now, all those aside, this one in particular is the one that I'm kind of really looking forward to because, yes, we are lacking in female characters. Before, it was kind of like, well, they'll get to them, they'll get to them. Well, let's kind of ramp it up a little bit more with the female characters. I think that in looking at my collection recently, being like, look at all these characters, this is awesome. Why is there only Wonder Woman? Because I'm definitely not putting fire in that collection. Woof, redo that one. You get a full pass on that one, just redo it. Just bring her back in some way, shape, or form and overhaul that sucker. But we have the Huntress, and this one is more of her newer type costume. Yes, she does have a bendy wire cape. Yes, she does have a crossbow, and yes, she will have multiple quote-unquote head portraits, but they're really just swap out faceplates. That's fine. You get various looks, kind of range from like, yeah, that's cool, to like, yeah, it kind of looks the same, but you get the idea. But yes, this is one that I'm like, cool, awesome. We'll definitely be getting the Huntress. But I think I'd rather find the Platinum version, to be honest with you, because if you're a fan of the 90s, you're a fan of Total Justice, well, the Huntress Platinum, of course, is wearing the Total Justice uniform. So version two for the Huntress in the comic books, basically. This is stellar. I like the purples. I like the look, the belts. This is the one that I'm really going for. If I find the other Huntress, sure, of course. But this is the one. I'm like, yes, heck yeah. This is the one that I want. So again, crossbow, swap out faceplates, wired cape. That's the Huntress in a nutshell. Unless you want to give me like a, a spring-loaded crossbow, that would have been even better. Maybe a baton, something like that. But for what's in there, and hey, we don't have to deal with that card stand for this one, sure. That's a nice step in the right direction. So Huntress Platinum, Huntress Regular, all the other figures. In actuality, it's a six figure set. It's really four Green Lanterns, two Huntress, two Batman. It's, it's, <laughs> there's a lot here. There's a good army builder for the Green Lantern, even though I think that's gonna be a pain. You know what I'm talking about there? Really kinda only want the more total justice looking Huntress. Again, if I get the other one, sure, why not? And this, uh, just the standard TDKR 
Batman for me. I don't like the more darkened version. It just doesn't do it for me. It's nothing there. I'm glad that's a platinum. See, that's the perfect platinum. It's kind of like, yeah, no, I'm good. Eh, we'll, we'll pass on that. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything multiverse. And again, if you are interested in anything we've been talking about here, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, in case I don't talk with you, have a fantastic weekend. Live it up. Do something awesome. Leave the toys to the side. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Go out. Touch the grass, as the kids are saying, and we'll reconvene on Monday. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.